How does biowiring work? That question comes to us all the way from India, and it's asked by Summit. He writes, I would like to know, is biowiring disengaging the crossover system of the speaker? Yes, in a way. It's separating the crossover section of a speaker. So we get this question a lot, and I know there's a lot of confusion about biwiring, biamping, by everything. Um, so let's, let's start with a little bit of a tutorial, if you don't mind. I'm, I'm back here in the conference room, and I will do my best to verbally explain what's going on so that Ohm's Law listeners won't miss out on what we're doing. So let's start with um, our, our, we're going to draw a little picture here of a tweeter. That's, a, that's our little tweeter. Oop. Hang on. We're going to draw a woofer now. All right, there's our woof. So I've just drawn a, a classic picture of a, of a tweeter and a woofer. And now <clears throat> we're going to draw a um, crossover. So the simplest crossover for a, a tweeter is just a s capacitor. A t because we, as we remember, uh, I hope, that this tweeter is essentially, it looks like a resistor to the uh, capacitor. And so if this is a 4 ohm tweeter, it looks like a 4 ohm resistor, right? So all I need to do, because I, I don't want woofer frequencies going through my tweeter, I simply place the appropriate capacitor that would, if it was going into a 4 ohm resistor, would give me the, uh, the high pass function that I want. High pass is a fancy way of saying I'm only going to pass highs <clears throat> and I'm not going to pass lows, right? And then this goes to ground. So all you need is a capacitor, and that will give you... Now, there are fancier crossovers, but we're just going to draw a real simple one. Now, if I do the same thing on a woofer, it's not going to work, because if I put a capacitor into a woofer, oops, that doesn't work so well. Why? Be, well, I don't want a high-pass filter. I want a, wait for it, low-pass filter. Yeah. What's that do? That passes low frequencies. So for a low pass filter, I want something different. I want a coil of wire. And then we're going to add a little cap over here, but we don't need to. We, 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 if we want to make the exact same thing, we could just add a coil of wire. Now a coil of wire um, will block high frequencies, but let through low frequencies. So depend if we have the same 4 ohm thing here, right? So here's our basic crossover. We have a coil of wire feeding the woofer, and we have a capacitor feeding the tweeter. And now we have a very basic crossover. The woof is only going to woof, and the tweet's only going to tweet. Got it? All right. Now, here I'm going to have my binding post. This is my red binding post. And over here, on each of these, I'm going to have my, my black binding post, which is our, our ground, right? Because we know that Every speaker has two terminals. One's the gazinta and the other's the gazada, and the gazada is to ground. So we're feeding it through the coil of wire inside of our speaker, and it is referenced to ground. So my black terminal on our speaker is ground, and my red terminal is going to feed my crossover, and hence the speakers. So if there's a couple ways to go here. Now, if I want to simply buy wire, there's a couple of ways to go. In its simplest form, you, you can just parallel two wires. You can parallel a wire that is specific to a tweeter in parallel with a wire that's specific to the woofer. Now, this is a little bit lame because what you're doing is essentially crafting your own speaker cable and trying to tune it the way you want. And that's typically, I don't know, it's, it's typically not a good, but I've seen people do that. What's more likely to happen is on some speakers, we have two red terminals. And one red terminal feeds the tweeter, the other red terminal feeds the woofer. And if I have a single amplifier, here's my amp, and I have two wires. One is feeding the red terminal that feeds the tweeter. The other is feeding the red terminal that 
feeds the woofer. Now, it makes a little bit more sense because if I have a cable that I'm particularly fond of that works well with high frequencies but not so great on the low frequencies, I can use that here. Those are my, that's my highs. And then I could use the other one, big brute of a cable, maybe Romex or you know anything that's not so fancy for the woofer and get away with it. And that is by wiring, okay? And you do that because you believe that the high frequencies are better served with one kind of cable and they are better served with another cable on the low end. Let's quickly cover by amping. And that is real simple. Now that we have that down, we just need to have two amplifiers. One is feeding the tweeter and the other is feeding the woofer, each on their own separate wire. I can pair the inputs up so I have a single input feeding both and as long as this treble amplifier, the top end amplifier, has the same gain as the bottom amplifier, I'm in good shape, right? Why would I do that? Same reason. Maybe you want to have vacuum tubes on the top end because we like the sound of vacuum tubes on the top end but we hate it for the bottom end because vacuum tubes aren't great for woofers, but they are really nice for tweeters. So up here we have our vacuum tube amp. There's our vacuum. And uh, it, now they don't have to have the same wattage, just the same gain. So if this one has five watts and our tweeter doesn't take any more than that, and this one has 200 watts, that's a good combination. And they will work perfectly because my 5 watt amp is, the, the tweeters don't take a lot of current. They don't take much in the way of watts. And woofers do. So this is a great combination, making sure my gain is the same. Lastly, if my gain isn't the same, I've got to adjust it. So and then we could have uh, an external crossover, but then you wouldn't need this cross. We'll do that later. Okay, hopefully that, that helps on this one particular question. Don't want to don't stress you out or saturate your brains, right? All right. Thanks for watching and listening.